mining has a lot of money and it contributes a lot towards uh the gdp much average can uh, <laughs> starting uh, get na, uh, uh. on average starting starting <laughs> Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Pozekana. Guys, you know what? On this channel, we have recently reached 10,000 subscribers. You know, 10,000 subscribers. Now we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm not going to say 20,000 and stuff. I'm going to aim high, you know, because all, all of you as students, you should aim high. Today, I have a, 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 a professional. <laughs> or a professional uh, I, I have an engineer you know yeah so hello my sister how are you gift uh, i'm good and you i'm good also can you introduce yourself my viewers they are watching you currently um. <laughs> okay so i'm candace Mianga, a mining engineering graduate <laughs> from the from the university of johannesburg ah <laughs> guys a mining engineering Graduate. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about that. Yeah, it's yeah. about hard work. Okay? okay, yeah, it's about hard work, <laughs> right? Okay. Okay, so tell us about your, your background. Uh, where, where are you from originally? So, originally, I'm from Pumalanga, Nelspread in Mazulu. Uh, I, w I went to Spusisiwa High School. Oh, Spusisiwa High School in, in Pumalanga. Yes. Okay. So, which subject did you do in uh, grade 10? I guess now you're selecting subject, yeah. you know, for, 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 for your career a field that maybe in future you might be interested to. So which subject did you take? So I did, uh, it was Siswati Home Language, English First Additional, uh, LO obviously, and then it was Pure Meds, Physics, Life Sciences, and Agricultural Sciences. <laughs> okay. So you chose those uh, killing subjects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you chose. Oh, you did your maths, your physics, your agriculture, your love science. Okay. So yeah, you you continued until you finished grade twelve, right? Okay. Yeah. But when did you decide that now you want to to study uh, mining? I actually decided in grade twelve after we had uh, our mining expo so growing up i wanted to be a veterinary engineer eh, surgeon <laughs> why did i say engineer yeah. but then now after she's in love <laughs> with engineering it's veterinary <laughs> engineering you know <laughs> okay so, yeah. yeah after we had our career expo and they actually explained what is really happening underground i got interested into it started watching youtube videos around mining engineering then i said okay this is the place the way i think i want to be for the rest of my life <laughs> so after that career expo, so the dream of becoming a veterinary surgeon just faded away yes it faded away oh, just because you're doing agricultural <laughs> science then you're like no man i'll have to go for veterinary okay yeah okay so which universities did you apply for for mining engineering for mining engineering i applied at vets i applied at up and i applied here at uj so i got accepted in all of them but because <laughs> this is this is a bit funny because at vets they offered me uh 10,000 rands which they said it will only go to registration fee and then at uj they said they're gonna they offered me 75 percent of my tuition fee of which it was around 45,000 rands because of how i passed they were like oh, i'm going for the money that's how i chose uj how did you pass then <laughs> the question is there uh, you know i'm interested in the part how did you pass <laughs> <laughs> so um i passed with five distinctions and two level six mm -hmm. which was english and agriculture so your math is level seven, seven. Yes. your physics level yes. seven your hey your <laughs> lo <laughs> okay oh, so you got five distinctions yes. so and you were admitted in all the universities yes. guys you see <laughs> you am high <laughs> <laughs> not less than le uh, not level five or less than seventy okay. percent. So okay, you came to UJ. So now you decided now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna uh, go to UJ because UJ is offering me a quite <laughs> uh, a great amount of uh, uh, money for my tuition fees, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you came to UJ. You registered for mining, right? Yes. Uh, which year? In 2019. 2019. Now you're a graduate. Yes. 
No, it's a real <laughs> cause. <laughs> yes, it's a real cause, and I graduated in record time, so yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so mining here is how many years? It's three years. Then at first it's four. Oh, it's three years yes. here at UJ. Then you, okay, okay. All right, and okay, you came to UJ, 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you became a student. Yes. How was it to be a student, a mining uh, engineering student here? Oh, being a mining engineering student. Um, <laughs> I think I think it's the same as being in any any other student. Mm. But then the specific part about mining is that now I when I, I got the chance to go underground, and that's when I actually felt the environment. So you see, when you're looking at it at vid uh, through videos, and then people telling you that no, they are full of grounds, there, what what dangerous, and so on. So when I finally got inside, I was like, hmm, this is not as bad as I thought it was, mm. because somehow <laughs> it seems like a mall. You see, when you get inside a mall, <laughs> yeah. and then. You get inside during the day and then you come out, it's very dark. So you also don't notice the time flying underground, it's like that. But then now there was that specific part because we first went into a gold mine where now we had to crawl. So the depths were like this short, now you had to crawl up and yeah, it was really interesting. <laughs> so yeah. Others are scared of being inside <laughs> the mine but you, you just like, no man, you're going underground, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah, so it's less like any other students, you know, it's not that difficult. Okay, okay, so you did your mining here at APK, which campus? No, at DFC. DFC, yeah. which is it BTEC, BNG, or is it, it this? It's BNG Tech. Oh, BNG yeah. Tech, yeah. all right, so it's three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which modules did you do in your first year now, and which module was very challenging for you? Or is there, uh, maybe there was no module that module that it was challenging. Okay. <laughs> first year, uh, first year we did our maths, we did our physics, we did our environmental management, we did our statistics. I was very good at statistics. We did our, um, <laughs> we did our, uh, what is it? Um, I, I don't quite remember. Yeah, I don't quite remember a lot of them. But I think the one that I found most challenging, it should be. I think I think it was environmental management. I think it was. Nagona, it's not really because of the content. I think it was more of how it was delivered to us. So I was still trying to adapt from moving from high school, being spoon fed to uh, my own learning, you see. So yeah, that was kind of a bit difficult, but then yeah, we managed to get through that. Environmental management? Yes. <laughs> oh, so it was the one for Boma Physics and Meza. No. You were, you, were, you, were, you were cruising there. It was nice. <laughs> okay all right so how did you but you, you tried to grasp the content as you okay yes. okay what, what other challenges did you face as you are uh, studying your degree um i think the one specific challenge that i faced was finding a sponsor so as a mining student you have competition from vets and uh up as i have stated that i also applied to those ones so it is kind of difficult for you to get sponsorship and now most minds they don't go for top achieving students they do this uh, other assessments where they see also your personality your traits your strengths and weaknesses so it's not more of if i pass well then i'm gonna get sponsors very fast so it was very difficult for me to get a sponsor from my first year and second year i was using ns fast but then i needed i specifically needed a sponsor because it is also difficult to get a job when you graduate without a sponsor but then lucky enough i don't know it's only god <laughs> lucky enough i ended up getting a sponsor in my third year and it was already september so it was towards the end of the year i had lost hope but then yeah it came for me <laughs> oh, so say okay financial challenge getting a sponsor yes. so how did you manage to get the sponsor someone is starting with ns fast and stuff and they're interested to to know that okay uh, i don't have a sponsor yet ne? maybe this info is new to me that uh, it's kind of it can be so hard for you to get in without a sponsor how did you manage that uh, get a sponsor 
so i have been applying directly to uh companies and that really did not work much for me i did not even get shortlisted for interviews until now i i registered with career wise which now that is when they called me and were like okay candice we have an interview for you can you please show up then that's when things started so i would advise everyone doing mining to apply or to register with career wise it is very useful okay career wise mm -hmm. all right so is there any other challenges that you faced as a student now ne? okay you are in johannesburg right <laughs> all the way from bumalanga <laughs> you know you are in the big city what other things that uh, you might say okay hey this one i was not get used to it uh, like parting kanji you know? <laughs> 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 so um no, I only include partying because I grew up an indoor person, so I have not done a lot of partying. Yeah. I think I started partying this year. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> um, I think um, the other challenge which I faced was depression. So I went through depression in my first year, but because of a very close friend that I had at the time, he made sure. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure that because I, I was very suicidal so he made sure that I did not kill myself we were spending like 24 7 hours 7 days 24 hours a day 7 days a week with me to ensure that yeah I did not myself <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah so it is I think it is very common depression is very common amongst our students of which it is also difficult to raise awareness about depression because as soon as someone starts to show depressive uh, traits we people think that they are trying to get attention from us that is what I experienced when I had my depression I moved away from a lot of my friends and it also moved away from me until now I went to psyched yes I could help me which is at UJ and it's free I went to psyched for um, therapy session and that's when I started feeling better and started coping with my depression okay that's great guys you should use those services that are provided <laughs> yes. on campus for you because indeed hey you shouldn't kill yourself because of uh, hey you know <laughs> okay uh, let, let's let's even thank the guy for being with you 24 7 <laughs> right okay <laughs> yeah yeah okay so now okay let's go back uh, in your modules right your, your challenge was uh, environmental management but you didn't have challenge with maths and physics yes. how did you manage uh, you said that you're even excellent in stats and stats is the most uh, module that is killing many students so how did you manage uh, uh um <laughs> uh the advice that I got, because I had friends that had uh, moved from higher universities, they were not really first years. They were, they were first year at mining, uh, in, at, they were first years in mining to, at UJ, but they were not really first years. So they advised me that the key thing to passing most of your modules is uh, consulting with your lecturer. How did you manage stats, specifically uh, stats, yes? So with stats, it is a topic which I have always loved since high school. I've been good with stats. So it made things easier for me here in varsity for me to get uh, those 90s and 100 here and there. Uh, <laughs> 100 here and there. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, I, okay. Did, I did not have a challenge at all for that. Uh, maybe I tried tutoring, so no, yeah. it was just easy for me. Yeah. All right. Okay, consulting uh, and also the brains, guys. I can see <laughs> it's also it's also working on her side now. Nah? But you must work hard, you know. Yeah. You must work hard. Everything is, is possible. Uh, okay, and uh, now um, it's your final year, right? You said you graduated in record time. You didn't fail anything. I can see that you're telling us that you were getting Boma 90s, hundreds, and then not the, anymore. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was first year. <laughs> No one change in second year, third year. Um, <laughs> nothing much changed. Hey, I think now things got a little bit difficult because now we went straight into the content of mining. So remember that I did not have a sponsor. I was not much exposed to the mining environment. So now when they speak about a shuttle car, I must throw an image of a shuttle car in my mind. Whereas if I had seen one and no one and I keep on seeing one, I know that, oh no, this one, it just takes the coal from the section and take it to the, con uh, to the feeder breaker. You see, it would have been easier for me. So I think that's how things got a little bit difficult, but we still managed. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
all right so now oh it was uh, you, you, okay so now I, I just want a description from you now about mining engineering grade 12 grade 11 even others they don't understand what it's all about you know they are still on the theory side of it you know tell us about more about mining engineering what is all about Yeah. okay so mining okay let's start with mining we we'll go to mining engineering specifically so mining it's more of okay so there's a phrase that says if it's not grown it is mined so everything which you do not see growing naturally you get it through mining the phone that you're using the materials that are inside they are from mining so we'll be mining the mining coal there's platinum there's diamond there's gold and so on and so on so mining is more of the extraction of those minerals from underground which with the aim obviously of gaining profit because mining is also a business industry you see so mining engineering specifically it's more of you 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 are supposed to show direction as to where to mine you see so if we mine underground the, the surface mines but i'm exposed to underground mining underground mine so um mining underground it is kind of difficult to maneuver around you're supposed to know how many tons you are supposed to extract a day or an hour you're supposed to know uh how many people are supposed to be underground what who should be um who should be operating what op uh, machine you see so I, I i don't know much about gold because i am in a coal mine and it is mechanized so for me in a mechanized mine as an engineer i just go underground already as a supervisor supervising the people that are operating the continuous miner which is known as a cm uh the shuttle car as i have said and uh, and uh, the, <coughs> the 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 diners the diners and the tractors so yeah that okay. is more in a mechanized mind. all right all right so you, you're not scared the underground thing no. when you go underground not even. Okay. All <laughs> not, right. i'm at my happiest when i'm, in, when I'm at <laughs> underground <laughs> okay 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 is mining a, a, a great <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to uh, uh, do you say okay it's a good career field that someone can follow if they want to live this uh, life that they are planning to live <laughs> yes mining yeah. has a lot of money and it contributes a lot towards uh, the gdp of the country so um going into mining it, it can be very good but for now i would advise a lot of you to uh apply for mine surveying rather than mine engineering because as i said with mine engineering you have competition from up and vets but then with mine surveying for now it's only at uj so it, you get a lot of sponsors a lot of people that are in survey they all have sponsors they are all hired so it's easy that side but if you know that you really want to stay underground and you really want to take out the tons then mining is the place to be mining yes. engineering yes okay. engineering is the okay. place to so be. you can have two options mining engineering and mining Mine survey, survey. Yes. okay all right can uh, <laughs> starting for get na, uh, uh? on average starting starting <laughs> <laughs> starting <laughs> uh, i think it can be average right mm, average yeah. okay average i think it can be around 30k the starting uh, yes, salary of my all right hey, yeah <laughs> okay okay so now okay there comes your graduation day you say you graduated in record time how did you feel that day <sighs> of course i was excited but the excitement was no longer that much because you see now on the 25th of november when you get your results and you see that you pass all emojis that's when you get the excitement that oh i'm actually a graduate so that day was more of i'm gonna look pretty for this day and yeah so yeah. but it was it, it's really nice it feels very great to know that i've accomplished such a thing in my life and this is what i wanted and this is what i have achieved okay, okay that's great currently what are you doing you are a student again <laughs> on us Yes, now uh, this year, 2022, I have been doing my honors degree still in mining engineering. So I'll be starting with the work next year. Okay. Why did you go for honors? My mind said I should go for honors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm speaking the truth. I really wanted to go uh, to the industry and start working, but then my mind said that uh, for UJ students, since we're doing a three-year degree, 
we kind of below the vet students which are doing the four year uh, degree so they wanted me to add another year in order to be on the same level with them meaning that at vets it comes with honors yes, yes all right all right okay it's clear now it's clear now okay so our last question now is uh, what advice could you give more you, you gave more advices right but <laughs> what is that one thing that you want to say to the aspiring mining engineering students that want to become a uh, miners one day right mining engineers yeah. mining surveyors you know so the advice that I would give you if you want to be a mine engineer um, so now I'm gonna speak more uh, in the aspect of a student because I am a student you see so um, <clears throat> it's hard work Re hard work is really everywhere but also dedication Mining, as I said, it's a business industry, so you need a lot of social networking skills. You need a lot of uh, foreseeing skills because remember that at the mine we experience a lot of accidents. So you need to be able to see an accident before it happens in order to protect you and the people around you. So, um, other advice, uh, just study your work while studying, balance it with you can watch uh, videos, as I have said, on YouTube. You can also be in contact with other people that are already in the mining industry. I am a student at the moment, but should you now need uh, someone who's at the industry, you can contact me, you can contact anybody else that you know that is already in the industry. You can contact somebody that is already doing mining engineering. So you do need a mentor. It is highly uh, uh, recommended to get a mentor in the mining industry because you never know when things can go wrong. It's more like life you can get a surprise anytime any day but that's not what we want we're trying to avoid that hence we're having mine engineers to try to avoid the fall of ground the accident and have a, um, a fatal free mining working environment or conditions okay wow that's a great advice indeed guys i'll just write her contacts here <laughs> you can see it right now here you know tiktok instagram and linkedin profile you have yeah, okay all right that is uh, okay. Thank you so much for your time, Candice. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, let's hope mining engineering students now they are excited. You know, <laughs> guys, you can get more money. Ne? Don't worry. Yeah. You, the more you experience, you can even get the one million a month. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. As I say that we are on our road to hundred thousand so it's it's very important for you and crucial for you to subscribe right now subscribe subscribe you know like this video so that many people can be able to watch it and see it everywhere in the country thank you so much for watching gift varsity tv gift Bozagana, your host i was with candice our mining engineer thank you so much for your time bye